BF are as close to paradise as you can get. But a few months ago, the peace here was shattered by acts of unbelievable savagery. Merayap dada di depan kapal. Terus habis itu dong perkosa orang. Terus ada nenek satu sembahyang. Sembahyang begini tentara sepak nenek itu bilang, nenek, nenek jangan sembahyang, tipu-tipu saja. Sembahyang dia nenek mau mati juga. On July the 6th last year, Indonesian troops launched an orgy of slaughter here in a bid to crush West Papuan demands for freedom. Ada yang berteriak, tapi yang lain masih terus menyanyi. Sambil duduk ke bawah, duduk untuk dia berbaring, tapi sudah banyak yang di depan tuh sudah berteriak-berteriak, itu sudah kena tembak. Sunday morning in Biak's Evangelical Church, and Reverend Solomon Sauer has a full house. But six months ago, his congregation was 100 stronger. Last July, West Papuans of Biak put their faith in God and publicly called for independence from Indonesia. Siap menerima risiko apapun yang akan terjadi di di apa di tempat jadi mereka sudah tahu tapi mereka tidak mau BX water tower is an unlikely symbol of freedom but it was here people raised the flag of a free west papua and demonstrated peacefully for their own state These fleeting images caught by an Australian couple just hours before troops moved in. Even though they knew that it might cost them, yeah. cost, cost them their lives. Their lives yeah. Yeah? You said that to them? Yeah. You said the army's going to attack? Yeah. And they refused to leave? Yeah, they refused to leave. Yeah. Hmm. What yeah. exactly did they want? They want to... They want to... Ya, orang dari luar ya. Ise think ya. Ise dream ya. I think uh, they expect someone from outside to, you know, to help to help them. Uh. But there was no help, no mediator, only bullets. At dawn on the sixth day of the protest, hundreds of troops moved in here from all directions, far from being asleep. The protesters had linked arms and were five deep around the water tower they declared birthplace of a new free Papua. To strengthen their resolve as the troops moved in with guns blazing, the protesters were singing a Christian hymn. Ya Laskar Kristen maju masuk laperan iring palang Yesus nanti kau menang itulah penganjur dengan menyerah Masuk peperangan ninja panjinya laskar Kristen maju maju masuk laperang iring palang Yesus nanti kau menang. Paulus Rumbiak was one of the few protesters lucky enough not to be shot. He was forced to throw the wounded into trucks full of bodies. Then he saw troops fire on houses and crash through doors, forcing all native Papuans onto the street. Dipukul. Dipukul pakai apa? Dipukul pakai kayu. Ada yang ditendang pakai sepatu. Tendang pas di sini jadi ada sampai tarik-tarik badang ini. Sampai orang-orang tua juga ada yang kena pukul itu. Sampai kepala pecah-pecah. Jadi dia pukul ada yang sudah ditembak dari luar. Bahkan kemari masih dipukul lagi di dalam. A thousand men, women and children were marched to this dock, interrogated and tortured.
Orang suruh duduk semua, jadi suruh tidur. Baru dia cek lagi, dia injak lagi dari atas orang-orang. Tumbuh tendang, injak. Sampai ya, anak-anak ada yang tidak sakit tapi dia langsung sakit. Ada yang sampai step itu. Jadi dia tidak pakai perasaan, dia hanya pukul. Ini yang salah dan ini yang tidak, dia tidak tahu. Dia pukul semua. Jadi banyak juga yang ditembak di pantai ke sana tuh banyak yang hilang juga. Hmm. Kiri kanan tuh dan tembak kasih hilang. Tides have washed away the blood, but the psychological scars remain. Twelve-year-old Edward saw his best friend shot dead, and was then among dozens forced onto two navy ships. He jumped and swam ashore, only to be rearrested. The government says only one died in the incident. Why then does an innocent 12-year-old talk of so many dead? Mereka buka terpal-terpal, pasir-pasir. Mereka bilang, saya mau masuk di sini ke tidak. Saya lihat ke bawah itu ada ibu-ibu, nenek-nenek, adik-adik. Mereka di bawah itu banyak sekali, mereka sisi dari pagi. Terus saya bilang, om saya sekolah. Some bodies with broken arms and bound hands were later washed up, but most of those taken on the ships were never seen again. Up to 150 people were murdered in the crackdown. Seen here in pictures smuggled out from Biak jail, Protest organiser Philip Kama denies charges of rebellion, insisting it was simply a spontaneous gathering of Papuans who all demand freedom. He and 19 others now face 20 years prison for sedition, and they're not alone. When they look at the fuzzy hair black mm. people mm. walking around, and they just kill them, they just, just like that. Mm. That's why I say catalogging that Jakarta's the cruelty really is Irian Jaya's so leading human rights investigator. In mm. Dead Highlanders and torture the victims, the daily cost of Indonesia's occupation. But Biak's history as the birthplace of Papuan nationalism so drew a new level of state in terror. Kill it here, they thought, this, uh, and you kill it everywhere. What happened in Biak is actually uh, a systematic process of the Indonesian military to really wipe out uh, the, the genuine feeling for freedom in a way that uh, once they can, uh, they wipe it out, they control it, and it will not grow again to move around and influence other parts of West Papua. And people don't want these uh, uh, things to happen to them anymore. They will organize themselves and demonstrate everywhere in West Papua the next year. The first time West Papuans raised their national flag, it was with the blessing of their Dutch colonial masters. Raising the same flag today gets you shot. Indonesia's claim on Irian Jaya only goes back to the 60s, when the retreating Dutch tried keeping it as a last outpost of empire. Jakarta insisted it was part of Indonesia, and after a short, undeclared war, the Dutch left, securing a pledge the Papuans could determine their own future. It was a promise Jakarta had no intention of keeping. The army says it will throw some 6,000 troops into the coming offensive. But the rebels are holding out in some of the world's most rugged terrain. After agreeing to talks, the first OPM guerrilla leader, Premenis Awom, was taken away and killed, starting years of assassination and clearing the way for a rigged ballot for integration with Indonesia. To understand why Indonesia is so determined to keep Irian Jaya, you have to travel deep into the rugged interior. Even if riding with a few thousand litres of petrol makes it a non-smoking flight. Irian Jaya's mountains are quite literally a gold mine of minerals, Indonesia's third biggest source of revenue, an asset all the more important in today's economic crisis. Rich valleys are also carved up for vast colonies of resettled Javanese. 
brought here under Jakarta's controversial transmigration scheme. A traditional dance welcoming strangers among the Highland Dani people. <laughs> While they seem happy enough with 50,000 years of their own culture, like the Christian missionaries before them, the Indonesians say they're here to civilise a Stone Age race. But for these people, the Indonesians have brought nothing but misery. When not dancing for tourist dollars, village chief Wiak Mavel is looking after his people. Australia. Australia. Yeah. yeah. Australia di sini. Di sini. <laughs> Good. OK, I'll stay here. <laughs> but for people so tied to their land, being part of Indonesia is no laughing matter. Belitana juga. Tapi belitana, mereka maunya mereka mau milik. Milik. Bukan, bukan buat jitnit deh, untuk masyarakat tidak, tapi buat mereka saja, milik-milik terus berkembang mereka saja. Kalau tidak, kita tidak, kita kota keadaan lain, kota keadaan pakaian begini, tapi kotor kotor Whatever we act of Indonesians, you better get used to them. Of, uh, of so from Jayapura? Mm -hmm. Just 30 minutes' yep. drive from Weak's village, a new invasion is being drawn mm -hmm. up. Filmed secretly at their hotel, surveillance for Indonesia's transmigration program finalised plans to move another 500,000 Javanese into these valleys in the next 20 years. And yeah, uh, out of the, this road is Pembramo Big City, uh, and here Wamena is Big City. So we want to build so one, what? two, three, four, five, six big city. Six big city. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope. Some local people say, okay, uh, Japanese people come and we can make the new new development, but I don't get the job. The Japanese get the job. Education. Education is still low here. I come down much higher. Uh, Usually, there's uh, people with higher education maybe one will win to buy it. by Jakarta's rules, Papuans rarely win. A still banned song of Papuan freedom. If Jakarta was winning any hearts and minds here, it would be these of the young Papuan elite. But instead of embracing Indonesian ways, these students use a university party to reinforce their Papua identity. It's no wonder. These students are from Bia, the victims of July's massacre were their friends and relatives. Sampai kapan pun saya tidak, saya sebagai orang Bia, saya tidak melupakan Papua Merdeka sampai saya mati. Karena saya ingin berdiri sendiri. Bahkan sebagai putra daerah yang ada di daerah Bia, saya merasakan bahwa sangat terancam sekali. 
Dan bagi saya itu tindakan yang sudah sangat tidak apa sudah sangat tidak manusia lagi manusiawi lagi. Dengan tindakannya mereka buat untuk membunuh bahkan memperkosa itu saya akan menggambarkan bahwa bukan bukan lagi mereka hendak apa menghimpun kami menjadi satu, tapi justru dengan tindakan itu mereka sendiri yang membuat perbedaan itu yang adanya. Brave words that are becoming more common throughout towns and villages, but can still land people in prison. What are these? These are police? Yeah. Or soldiers? After a day of meeting opposition leaders, Indonesian intelligence was tipped off and started questioning those we'd seen. Just get the camera down just for a second, man. That meant having the right contacts, especially to meet the man pivotal to what happens next in Hiriyan Jaya. Now, the man we're going to see, what sort of restrictions are he, is he under? He's under house arrest. Under house arrest, and why is that? Uh, he was accused of by the military, by the, by the police, involved in the demonstration of 1st July. To meet him, I'm taken to a safe house on the city's outskirts. Hello, sir. On the way. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> if ever there is a free Papua, Tays Elaway would probably be its president. As the most powerful tribal chief, Tays 30 years ago voted for integration with Indonesia. Today, he says, Indonesian rule means nothing more than stealing Papuan rights. Loko kita dibunuh oleh bangsa kita sendiri secara biadab. Saya tidak mengerti bangsa ini. Dan tidak akan mengerti terus menerus sampai dunia kiamat. Kalau itu bisa harus bisa diri. Dan sendirinya dengan pembunuhan demikian itu mereka sendiri yang tidak mau kita sebagai bangsa Indonesia secara politik. Again, many people from the outside would say it looks very hard, if not impossible, for Irian Jaya to become free West Papua. What makes you believe, or what's going to make that happen? Berbicara secara terbuka kepada Indonesia, bukan meminta, memberitahu. Karena kami anggap bahwa kemerdekaan adalah hak kami. So having it seems learned nothing from East Timor, the army's use of deadly force here on Biak on July the 6th created the Dili massacre of Irian Jaya. And just as Dili did with the East Timorese, so Biak has only hardened the resolve for change among most Papuans. After 35 years of sitting on the fence, too scared to speak out, Irian Jaya's biggest church has had enough. For the first time, the head of the church publicly calls for independence. Secara sistematis sebenarnya, eh, Indonesia menjalankan satu polisi yang eh, apa itu mau apa itu meniadakan atau menghilangkan barangkali orang-orang Irian dari sini. The Indonesians say that they bring development to Irian Jaya. Isn't that true? Isn't that the case? Menurut kesi mina Soekarno, kata-kata pembangunan itu sebenarnya dalam arti seperti kita di Irian itu pembangunan sama dengan pembunuhan ya, sama dengan penyiksaan, sama dengan semuanya. Jadi sama sekali tidak pernah ada pembangunan. Ibu-ibu dan atau ibu ko ibu atau bapa itu apa? Okey mereka di mana itu di sana bahawa lebih baik kamu ambil semua. Tidak ada lagi keinginan melahirkan lagi sebab memang lahir percuma karena semuanya yang datang hilang. Saya bapanya jadi sakit. Ada yang jalan panggil bapa. Four-year-old Saul can't have a little brother or sister anyway. His father is dead. His mother, Nella, the widow of the only man the government admits died in the Biak massacre. Like thousands of other Papuans, 
personal loss has inflamed nationalist passions. Bapaknya korban dengan ini bendera Papua tetap bendera Papua berdiri. Cuma itu saja yang saya ucapkan sama Doran. Tetap kita berdiri. Biar saya ucapkan begitu dong tembak saya kata tidak saya ucapkan tetap Papua Bar Papua Barat merdeka tetap merdeka supaya tanggung jawab anak bapaknya punya darah sudah di ini jadi harus kita merdeka kita sudah menderita cukup lebih baik dulu datang bantu kami kami senang untuk bersandar sama dulu. Thank you.